Jump on July with some vintage video games. What's inside? The VideoGamesMonthly.com, the retro video game subscription service. Going over and pressing the rewind button on my Sony Walkman. Rewinding just a bit to explain to you what VideoGamesMonthly.com does every single month. Did you know that they send to your doorstep retro video games? Oh, those ones you may have grown up playing as a kid, or maybe even now as a grown adult. Going back and trying to pick up those games can be a bit difficult. VideoGamesMonthly.com can help you with that by sending to you every single month a selection of retro video games. It doesn't have to even be randomly selected. You can help also control what, move, what games you get delivered to you by, first of all, going to their website, Second of all, selecting which console of games you'd like to have pulled from. So if you're only somebody that likes to have Nintendo games, for example, that defeats the purpose completely of having Sega games to your doorstep. If you never owned a TurboGrafx-16, well, it makes no sense, of course, to have TurboGrafx-16 in any of these boxes. You can cater the boxes specifically to your taste. You can have for yourself decided, oh, I'm only going to get Nintendo games and completely just turn my head away from getting the idea of Sega games, TurboGrafx-16 games, Xbox games, because I have a whole list of different consoles available. And then, if you have already got games in your collection right now, whether your parents were smart enough not to throw away or sell your video games at, at garage sales, that happened to me, or you have a friend that has gotten rid of their games, and you don't want those games again, after all, you don't want duplicates of the exact same games, Video Games Monthly also allows you to go in and update your library. So to ensure that you're never going to be getting those games in the same subscription boxes that you already have in your collection. If again, that sounds tantalizing to you, you can click the link down below in the video description. In the meantime, the person that's behind the camera, hey, that, that's me. I'm going to open up the new box from July just to inspect and see what games Video Games Monthly have sent my way. Now, I want to full disclose here, this box does not have tape on the front. Before you think to yourself, how would you have such hope that this box would have arrived to your doorstep and not had video game pirates pillaging the contents inside? Well, this actually arrived in a larger box. That's, that's why. Play the past into the future, though. Let's go ahead and open up the box from Video Games Monthly for July and see exactly which titles we have. Now, for me, at least, going back to the idea of selecting which consoles you'd like to have, I actually chose quite a lot of them because I have a Retron. Those ones that play multiple different game, different video games. So for me, it doesn't bother me at all that I selected a Sega. I think I selected all the Nintendo, different Nintendo consoles. I selected PlayStation. I selected a whole bunch of them. Like I, I was pretty open to the idea of just getting anything inside of these boxes. But let's see what exactly the things we got inside. The first title we have for the original NES, that would be the Nintendo Entertainment System, is Star Tropics. This is an official Nintendo seal of quality. And look at like the label on this. It looks almost brand new. Like they just had bought this at Toys R Us. Remember back in the day at Toys R Us, back way in the 80s, you'd go to the, the actual wall of all the video games and you'd just pull the paper located underneath each of the games. And then you'd have to go up to a cage just after you checked out. And you'd give the paper to, of course, that person that seemed like they'd rather be somewhere else. And then they'd grab and give you the game. Remember that? Oh, I, I am the only one that remembers that. Okay, never mind. I actually did buy quite a lot of games. Uh, for the Sega Master System, I remember buying Ghostbusters that way, and also Afterburner. Good times, good times. The next game we have to go along with Star Tropics is Deadly Towers. It's from Brotobund, which I believe is also the same company that also did The Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. It is an adventure series. And again, you've got the Nintendo official seal of quality. Other than a few little scratches, you can almost even, you can't even quite make out. It looks like it's, again, brand new. I'm going to put that right over there. Going something a little bit different than Nintendo, we have ourselves, uh, well, it's Sega Genesis. I'd have to look onto the top of the spine to see. It's Mystic Defender. For a second, it almost looked like Chun-Li from Street Fighter. That's definitely not Chun-Li from Street Fighter. And actually, kind of the dragons remind me of Double Dragon, even though it's, in this case, Triple Dragon. Triple Dragon? Triple Dragon. Mystic Defender. Never played it. Have you? Let me know. Of course, we've got some bubble wrap. You're not going to be playing that on any video games, at least not that I'm aware of. Is there a video game console that plays bubble wrap? Probably not. That would be a ridiculous idea. 
We also have a one-up card video game cartridge cleaner. Moisten fluid pad with alcohol. Rub against the game contacts. Buff contacts with dry pad. This is the, the fluid side, the wet side, the moist side. This is the dry side, the side that has the umbrella. And then on the other side, you've got video games monthly. That's always good and right. Good to have these available. In fact, I think I already have one from video games monthly. I keep it with all my vintage games. Of course, there's always the, uh, the decision to go whoosh, blow the inside connector, which I think a lot of people ended up. I think I even had a cleaner growing up in the eighties, but it was all more just a swab. You just had to swab the inside of that connector. This definitely looks a little bit more well, polished. I would say. We also have a couple other things in here as well, quickly before getting to that. You can win three free games. Post your box to social media for a chance to win three free games in your next box. Video Games Monthly chooses one random winner every single month. I didn't, I added single, that wasn't in there. Uh, we hope you enjoy your latest box. Please again, update your library on the website by adding these games and any other games you may have acquired. All updates to your gaming library must be made seven days prior to the end of the month. Video Games Monthly. On uh, not, uh, I might also mention, not a cardboard card. This actually feels like it's a, like a plastic card. Very, very pristine. Got a couple of other games also in here as well for the original Nintendo Game Boy. Street Racer. Street Racer. And the other one, this is for the Game Boy Color. Is it the Game Boy Color? I don't know. This might just be... No, it might just be for the regular Game Boy. Or no, actually it is. Game Boy Color. A little harder to see. It's actually impressed into the plastic. This is Lego Island 2. And my eyes are now starting to get... My eyes are giving, uh, giving up on me. I don't know what that says. Can you read that? Can you read what that says? It says the brick something. Oh, my eyes! I used to joke that even at my age, my eyes were still doing well and they hadn't failed me yet, but I think my eyes are now starting to fail me. Can you see that? It won't matter. By the time I'm ready to edit this, I'll already be able to see it because on the computer and how clear this camera is, I'll be able to actually make that out. Right now, I'm drawing a blank. Got a couple of games. So let's have a look at what we got in the July box from Video Games Monthly. We got Lego at Island 2. I don't know what the bottom actually said. Street Racer for Nintendo Game Boy. For the Sega Genesis, Mystic Defender with Chung Li Triple Dragon. Deadly Towers for the Nintendo NES. And also for the NES, Star Tropics. That's a good thumbnail. Although the thumbnail would completely give away everything that was contained inside and you guys wouldn't even have to watch this video. But yes, thank you for watching this video. And also, if you are interested to get video games monthly delivered to your doorstep, it doesn't have to necessarily be these games. If perhaps you prefer PlayStation, you can do that as well. If you prefer Xbox, would you believe? You can also do that as well. You can customize this box exactly the way that you want, which with which consoles you'd like to have the games delivered for. Again, you can click the link down below that will take you on over to Video Games Monthly's Video Game Monthly's website at videogamesmonthly.com. Also, if you're down there anyways, and you've been enjoying, I hope, all the content you've been seeing as of late, just again, a reminder, usually Monday to Friday, we're always posting two videos a day. I say we, it's, I'm including producer Tony, although producer Tony still, even though I have not mentioned him at all in the last couple of videos, still does, he still does very little. I'm whispering. It doesn't really matter. My eyes are getting away from me. His ears gave up a long time ago. Either that or he's just choosing not to listen. But if you are enjoying the content that you're seeing, hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on. And I know I always say turn the bell notification on. Why do we have to turn the bell notification on? It's only because some of you older viewers and maybe some of you older viewers may not even know this video exists, aren't getting notified by YouTube every single time a new video posts. So you don't want to be the person that's missing out on any new content that's coming onto this channel, hitting the bell notification, even though it seems like a ridiculous second step after hitting subscribe, does actually help you, and it also helps the channel out as well. There's going to be a lot more videos coming away, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.